it's going to be a dynamic process. Stockton Rush loves adventure. Growing up, he always wanted to blast off into space. And so I have heading, I have depth, altitude, I have the speed, I have my thruster levels. But now finds himself exploring new worlds under the sea. We look at the ocean as being um, really the, the final frontier. I mean, that is where people are going to go. The, the, most of the life on this planet is in the ocean. There, there, there are hundreds of thousands of species that are yet to be discovered. In 2018, I profiled Russia's company OceanGate and its relationship with WSU's electrical engineering program in Everett as some recent grads helped bring his sub Titan to life and prepare it for the world stage. But a lightning storm wiped out the electronics that year. In 2019, there were problems with the support ship, and COVID killed last year's attempt. It's a much more difficult process than I ever could have imagined. Sir, Where some see control, setbacks, Rush sees opportunity so and spent forward, that time upgrading some components. Wow. Turn left, turn right, go down, go up. Fine tuning and left, exploring the depths of Puget Sound. Right. But now he's ready for the big time as the crew heads to the middle of the Atlantic and sets up for the first week of dives more than 12,000 feet below in the only five person sub in the world that can reach that depth. Like most of the deep diving subs, it's been this very limited group of extremely wealthy individuals who buy and make their own subs and then dive where they wanna go. What OceanGate's about is bringing um, the ability to explore the oceans to everyone. Scientists and Titanic experts will join paying customers who double as mission specialists. As they get a view, few have seen with their own eyes, They'll also use special sonar and laser equipment to create a high-res 3D image of the wreckage and shoot 4K video of Titanic. We're going to go back every year, and that's going to allow us to have a, a level of what they call longitudinal data uh, that's going to be very valuable to look at decay rates and what kind of microorganisms and larger um, uh, aquatic species will populate what's an artificial reef. Just got where they'll be starting this whole thing tomorrow. That's when the first dive is a multi-year project. It's going to capture the Titanic in more detail than ever before and give the world a better idea of just how long it might be recognizable. They're shooting for about 20 missions this summer, each one about 10 hours long with about half that time actually down uh, at Titanic to be able to do all that work they need to do.